Hi, today I have a problem about population genetics and here is a problem. One in every 1,700 Caucasian babies that are born have a cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is an autosomal recessive disorder that is small c. And first question, what is the frequency of the recessive allele c? And second question, how many uh, of every 1,700 babies are heterozygous that is capital C small c? And the last question is theoretical. I would read it uh, later and answer this question. And uh, if you know how to apply Hardy-Weinberg formula for the first two questions, you may stop video here, try to uh, solve this problem, and then you can run video again and compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So in order to solve this problem, we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula that tell us that frequency equals uh, to uh, p squared plus 2 pq plus q squared and here for the p squared we have dominant uh, homozygous dominant condition for the middle part of the formula this would represent uh, heterozygous condition and q squared would be homozygous recessive and all this should equal to 1. Also we know that P plus Q would equal to 1 and P alleles would stand for the capital C so uh, dominant allele and Q would stand for the small c recessive allele and also we know that uh, in this formula 1 equal to 100% so this is all we need to know in order to solve this problem. And we know that uh, 1 out of uh, 1,700 people would be affected with this disease. And this tells us that genotype of these people would be homozygous recessive, small c, small c. So we know q squared. So q squared equals to 1 divided by 1700 and this would equal to 0 0.00059 this would be frequency of the q squared or homozygous recessive so now uh, we can find q and we need to find q uh, for uh, in order to find uh, p because p plus q equal to 1 we can easily later find P if we know Q and we know we can find Q just uh, taking a square root out of the number that we got uh, above that is 0 0.00059 this is the frequency of the uh, Q squared so here we are going to get the answer 0 0.024 and this is going to be the frequency of the Q allele. And now we can find P. And this is easy to do. We just have to rearrange this formula if we know Q. So we have to subtract from 1 frequency of the Q and we will find P. So P would equal 1 minus Q. And we know that Q is 0. 0 0.024 so frequency of the p would be 0 0.976 so now we have frequency of the p allele and we have uh, all what we need in order to solve uh, the middle part of the formula and find the frequency of the heterozygous condition that is capital C small c and this would equal to 2 multiplied by p, that is 0 0.976, and multiplied by q, and q is a 0 0.024. And now we can find the answer, that is 0 0.047. And we also can uh, give this answer uh, frequency of the 
uh, heterozygous condition as a percentage and here you see that 1 equal to 100 percent so in order to convert this number into percentage we just have to multiply by 100 or we just can um, move uh, this comma to decimal places to the right and we are going to get as you see 4.7 percent this is would be frequency of the heterozygous condition so we can put uh, this number here 4.7 percent frequency so uh, the first question was uh, what is the frequency of the recessive allele C and as you see here uh, frequency of the uh, uh, recessive allele C equals to uh, Q in our formula so Q here we already know that is 0 0.024 we also can convert it uh, and give the answer as a percentage so um, this is going to be 0 0.024 frequency or uh, this is going to be 2, 0, 2 point four percent and uh, this is the frequency of the recessive allele so the second question be how many of every 1700 babies are heterozygous this is uh, the last step in our calculation we just have to multiply 1700 by 4.7 percent and we are going to get 79.9 people so we cannot use it for our answer and we have to round it to 80 so the answer for the uh, question B would be 80 people would be carriers of this uh, disease and now we left with the last question that is it has been found that a carrier uh, that is capital C small c is better able to survive diseases with severe diarrhea what would happen to the frequency of the small c allele that is uh, recessive if uh, there were an epidemic of uh, cholera or other type of diarrhea producing disease and uh, this is obvious that uh, people who is uh, not fit uh, like uh, who is has uh, genotype capital C capital C uh, the genotype would decrease and uh, genotype uh, that is uh, heterozygous that represent only 4.7 percent would increase because this type of people uh, who has this genotype would be better fit uh, in the environment and would uh, better survival rate from this disease so this would lead to increase of the uh, recessive allele so uh, increase of this genotype and this would also affect the uh, number of the uh, recessive allele in this gene pool so people who is going to be um, uh, also affected by the cystic fibrosis would also increase and this is a purely theoretical question it has nothing to do with reality just given here for your better understanding that uh, frequency of the alleles uh, is uh, always changing due to environment influences so this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe to my channel i post uh, new videos almost every day now I hope that if you find analogous problem on your exam, you wouldn't have any problem to solve it. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.